Welcome back to another display tutorial. Today we're going to run through a little bit of basic navigation within the display so that the display is a little bit easier to actually use. So we're actually on the run screens now. We have run one through run six and we can actually customize these however we want. There is another video on that. Um, over here on the left hand side is what we call the left hand area and you'll be able to see the left hand area no matter where you navigate to in the display. This is also customizable in most vehicles. Up at the top we have a status and warning icon area and uh, typically the white backgrounds are just notifying you of something so for an example right now we have a USB installed the display uh, recognizes that. We also have differential GPS within the display as well and it recognizes that. The yellow backgrounds will give you just a caution, so something that may be going on that you need to be concerned about, but not necessarily a danger. Uh, anything with a red background is something that you need to stop immediately and fix. So this could be something like a broken wiring harness or a controller that may be offline or something like that. If I navigate back to our home screen, you'll see all of the sections within the display. Now, uh, not all of these are going to be visible depending upon what vehicle you actually have the display in. So the first six, the toolbox, diagnostics, data management, your run screen, performance, and calibration, all of those will be visible in any display. Um, so basic display setup, or uh, setup in general, is done through our toolbox. Diagnostics gives you fault information and also software information. Data management allows you to delete and import data. Your run screen layouts, which is where we just came from. Performance setup, which is actually where your grower, your farm, and your field would be set up. Calibration, where all of your calibrations would be stored for your nav controller, um, if you're in a combine, it'd be more of a yield monitoring situation as well. All of your calibrations would be stored here. Everything underneath these six icons here is optional. So we're in a large tractor right now. I'll see an ISO bus icon. I may not see that in a combine though. So ISO bus, uh, that'll give me my virtual or universal terminal for uh, ISO compatibility. Remote valves, which is tied to the tractor work condition which allows me to set up a product layer so if I'm mapping out a product this allows me to put it into a work condition or a profile in order to save it and then electronic end of row functions so that's some basic basic navigation within the display just some areas that you may find information that you didn't realize uh, where that information was at before uh, that pretty much concludes our tutorial on basic navigation within the display I hope this was useful for you. Um, you can check out other videos that we'll have posted as well. Thank you.